In this video, you'll learn about the master filtering and drill down features that allow you to add interactivity to your dashboard. I've already created a dashboard bound to the support table inside the analysis database that I created. First, let's look at the grid dashboard item that acts as a master filter. To use the master filtering feature, go to the data tab and click the multiple master filter button. Then you can select grid rows to filter other dashboard items by selected values, the issue type and product name. To reset the applied master filter, use the clear master filter button in the grid caption. To prevent a specified dashboard item from being filtered by other master filters, enable the ignore master filters option. This will prevent this dashboard item from being affected by master filters. You can see that the master filtering applied using the grid does not affect the card dashboard item. Let's see how you can filter the dashboard using a chart. The chart dashboard item allows you to apply filtering by argument or series values. To enable master filtering by arguments, click the multiple master filter button in the data ribbon tab. You can click the required bars to filter other dashboard items by a selected date. To reset the master filter, click clear master filter in the chart caption. To enable filtering by series, use the series button. Click the required bar segment to apply filtering by the corresponding issue type. The dashboard allows you to add special dashboard items that always act as master filters. These dashboard items are called filter elements. Let's convert our grid to the tree view filter element using its context menu. Go to the design tab and enable the auto expand option. You can check the required tree view items to filter the dashboard by these values. Let's undo the last changes and see how the drill down feature works. Select the grid, go to the data tab, and click the drill down button. Now you can go from the general view to details by clicking the required row. Use the drill up button to return to the previous detail level. You can also use the drill down feature along with the master filtering feature. Let's enable single master filter for the grid dashboard item. You can apply master filtering by clicking rows. Moreover, you can drill down to details by double clicking a required row. The chart dashboard item allows you to perform drill down by argument or series. When the drill down feature is enabled for arguments, you can click chart bars to move from quarters to months. To enable drill down by series, click the series button. Then drag the product name field to the series section. To perform drill down, click the required bar segment. As always, use the drill up button to move to the previous level. Finally, let's see the range filter dashboard item that displays a chart with selection thumbs and allows you to filter out values displayed along the argument axis. For instance, this can be applicable to filter the dashboard by date, time, values. And that's it. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.